Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about a daily stock market update and we will figure out is stock market bearish. Let's do technical analysis and we will do we will get result. <clears throat> now let's move to five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now let's move to trading view. If you want to learn more about trading your setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading your setup trading. The other links about all my trading. Okay, uh, 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 stock market heat map. All USA companies based on the market cap and daily performance. <laughs> Looks like everything red. Everything red, right? It means still bearish. <laughs> Now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. Okay, <clears throat> like I said, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm, us I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA 10, green line SMA 5 buy and sell script indicator uh, rsi <coughs> yellow line and haikanachi bars uh, how it works look at it sma5 did bearish crossover over 10 it is bearish reversal trend sell signal right when we receive one bar move above sma5 it is bullish trend buy signal that's how simple it is Okay, USA dollar daily, <coughs> it closed below 20. It's negative today, minus 0.30%. On 4 hours time frame, it's already did bearish, confirmed bearish reversal. Very, <coughs> it is negative, it is bearish now. Should be bullish for indexes, but indexes not bullish at all also. Let's move to Qs. Qs daily. Uh, as of now, minus almost 1%, minus 0 0.85. It's a daily time frame. Last bar closed below SMA 20, below all moving averages except 200. Sell signal. Uh, RSI did bearish crossover. Haikanachi red bearish. Bearish reversal, reversal circle, circle. Four hours time frame. <clears throat> Same trend. Bearish, right? Even SMA 20 did bearish. Crossover over 200. Last bar close below all moving averages. Bearish trend on all indicators. One hour time frame. Same. SMA 20 did bearish. Crossover over 200. Last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend VIX uh, not VIX VX10 volatility index for NASDAQ plus 4% it is bullish it is negative for uh, NASDAQ S&P <coughs> SPY S&P 500 minus 0.70% <coughs> Sell signal, SMA5 is bearish crossover over 10 <coughs> and bars close below all moving averages except 200. RSI did bearish crossover, bearish trend. <coughs> For hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages, RSI bearish trend. One hour time frame, last bar below all moving averages bearish trend all indicators bearish weeks volatility index for uh, s p 500 plus seven and a half percent bullish it is bearish for s p 500 dow jones minus half percent daily last bar below all moving averages rsi is bearish crossover bearish trend for our time frame, 
Allah's bar below all moving averages. I can actually say bearish trend. One hour time frame. Last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend. RSI bearish. Dow Jones bearish on all time frames on all indicators. Some bullish divergence. Just let me show you on one hour time frame. You see. Price action from here right. Bearish. And RSI has bullish divergence. <coughs> it wants to have some bounce. Okay, uh, <clears throat> now VXD, volatility index for Dow Jones plus, uh, plus 18%. Next 48 hours, we have to see green day for Dow Jones. It's 85% probability Dow Jones will be green day for next uh, two days, trading days. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. Uh, let me, yeah. <clears throat> Daily time frame, bullish crossover, bullish trend. It is bearish for Dow. VXD volatility index. IWM minus one and a half percent. Russell 2000, very weak. Very negative. It has bullish divergences. <clears throat> Yeah, multiple bullish divergences, but still trend is bearish. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. On daily time frame, <coughs> four hours time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. RSI has bullish divergences, bearish trend. One hour time frame, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. RSI has bullish divergences, but trend is bearish. RVX plus 5.7%. Now, as of now, today is October 19, 2023. Okay, RVX bullish. It is bearish for Russell 2000. Apple flat today minus quarter percent looks like it it post on the S and P uh, twenty S M T S P twenty strong support line we'll see will it bounce from it or it will continue bearish trend RSI I can actually already bearish four hours time frame. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend, even Heikonachi green. Yeah, SMA 20 did bearish crossover. It's not good, it's a, it's a definitely bearish. One hour time frame for Apple, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Apple is bearish, right? Tesla minus. <coughs> 9% today again. Tesla very negative after the earnings, right? Huge gap down. He tested this level to 15. Uh, yeah, it created huge gap down. Definitely disconnected from all moving averages. On daily on four hours time frame same story huge gap down oversold last bar disconnected from all all moving averages it can bounce one hour time frame <clears throat> still bearish it very oversold it can bounce uh, but it, remember it can stay very long time for oversold in oversold state it's not always immediately bound Nvidia, Nvidia daily, bearish reversal last two bars below all moving averages, bearish trend except 200. Four hours time frame, still bearish trend, last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend, and one hour 
It was positive bullish. Last three hours I did bearish reversal sell signal. Last bar below all moving averages and media flat also. Amazon plus quarter percent. Last bar close below all moving averages except 200. Bearish reversal signal. 4 hours time frame. Last bar below all moving averages also bearish reversal signal. Bullish divergence on RSI. One hour time frame as SMA5 did bearish crossover last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend. You see the price action flat. RSI is uptrend. Looks like it won't bounce, but you see SMA20 yellow line did bearish crossover over 200. It is very negative set, bearish setup. Microsoft. Microsoft plus half percent. Daily. Uh, daily is a flat price action after the nice bull run. It can be bull flag, it can accumulate the energy and it will bounce. Or it can do bearish reversal. It can go both ways. Both ways. Uh, 4 hours time frame. Same story, flat price action, right? Bars fighting about SMA 5, 10 and 20. Still kind of flat positive, bullish. One hour time frame also kind of it was bullish. Last three hours I did bearish reversal. Sell signal bearish reversal, last bar close below. Almost all moving averages except 200. Uh, that's all. Let's do summary, like I said. USA dollar on one hour time frame did bearish reversal. Four hours did bearish reversal. Daily also not looks good. It kind of uh, dancing around. SMA 20, it is still positive because it kind of today it closed below SMA 20. Will it bounce? If, it, if it's positive, we need bounce tomorrow. Because if it's continue to go bearish, it will be bearish reversal. Uh, all, all other indexes still bearish on all time frames. Indexes and equities on bearish on all time frames, on all indicators. Nothing changed. Bearish trend. Confirmed bearish trend. You see bar close below 20. It is confirmed bearish trend. Same for S&P. Same for Q's. Yeah, Dow negative and IWM very negative. Very negative. Yeah, bearish trend on all indicators on, for all indexes and equities. Uh, let's do disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.